I am Michelle Johnson, also known as Mish. At the age of four, I developed an appreciation of music as a universal language. As a Pittsburgh native, I remember living in Garfield Heights on Colombo Street, attending Rogers Middle School, catching the bus to my voice lessons on the corner of Penn Avenue and Highland Avenue. I remember attending centers for the musically talented. I have such fond memories of hanging out with childhood friends in East Liberty and friendship. My mother and my grandmother listened to many different genres of music. They would turn the volume up high and call it their cleaning music. I was influenced at a young age by many different artists, such as Whitney Houston, The Carpenters, Earth, Wind and Fire, Diana Ross, Gladys Knight, Otis Redding, Michael Jackson. In fact, while we were listening to 80s and 90s music, I was listening to Captain and Tennille, Parliament, classical composers, Johann Sebastian Bach, and Antonio Vivaldi. I started writing in a journal, writing poems when I was 12. I started writing songs when I was 16. I didn't think I was any good, but I also didn't let it stop me. When I'm on stage, I feel like there's no limit to what I can be. It is truly my pleasure to perform at KST Alloy Studios. Music is very therapeutic for me. I love singing, dancing, directing, creating music, and working with people. KST has welcomed me with open arms. I want to speak love into this moment and breathe in a peaceful setting. Be grateful for each day God gives me. Rejoice in moments I have with my family. To remind people that we are the light of the world. Never forget that. I want to cultivate a beautiful environment to sing along to classics. This evening, we honor the legendary Diana Ross. I welcome you to experience her music from this hometown girl's perspective. Diana Ross, originally Diane Earl, born March 26, 1944, an American pop singer and actress who achieved international stardom first as a member of the Primates, originated from her hometown, despite her personal and professional ups and downs. Diana Ross has withstood the test of time as a performer with a career that spans more than four decades. She has won several major awards, including a Golden Globe, a Tony, the Recording Academy Lifetime Achievement Award, and several American Music Awards. Celebrating her 75th birthday in 2019 in true style, Diana performed Reach Out and Touch Somebody's Hand, released in 1970. She ended her performance by saying, learn, dream, unlock new doors, all is possible. She offers a powerful, inclusive musical message of love and togetherness. I present to you Music from the Heart, a Diana Ross tribute.
Take you to the 70s, where the music created was for every mood and groove and occasion, leaving you with the love and over.
is when we don't okay, need it. let me tell you this. My impression, I have a certain, uh, I guess, positive positiveness about my life, but I realize that every time I create a, a positive thought in my mind, also I create a negative thought. It's just like, I'm going to be very successful, and my mind says, oh, no, you're not, you know? <laughs> okay? So since I create positive and negative, it's which one I give the most attention that is powerful. When I think positive constantly, it's very powerful, and it controls me. If I think negative all the time, it's going to control me, too. So right now, my positive thought is there is no go going to be no disaster to destroy what I have planned for me and my family. And if there is, that's life.